Hey guys, it's Bella. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make two DIY last minute Mother's Day gifts. Both of these I made using household items that I found around my house. Have them too. Anyway, let's get straight onto the video. Anyway, so the first one I'm going to be showing you how to make is this super cute lipstick. Lipstick? What? Lip balm. <laughs> Here's what you'll need. So anyway, first off I'm taking an empty lip balm container and I wash this out using a makeup wipe and then um, some warm water. Now I'm taking some Vaseline. Now you can use an old lip balm that you already own or you can use like the tubs of Vaseline like I'm using. And what I'm going to do is just scoop some out onto a spoon and this is quite stiff because this is the first time I'd opened mine and then I'm just going to scoop it in. Now it'll be really messy at first. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just flattening it down and adding more as I go. Now you can fill this up as much as you want, but I filled mine right to the top, just so that it would look a lot better when I opened it. And I'm just going to flatten that down. Now this isn't necessary when you add the food colouring, because when you mix it in the container, it's going to get messy anyway. But yeah, I didn't really think it through while I was doing it. Speaking of food colouring, you can pick whichever colour you'd like. I chose a purple and I also added a bit of pink, but I did that off camera. But yeah, so I did purple and I basically just added a drop. And this is when I forgot to cut the top off the food colouring, so it didn't actually work until like, about well, five minutes of trying. After I'd realised that I needed to cut the top of the food colouring off, I squirted some purple food colouring in and used my spoon to mix this round. Now I would really, really not recommend using a spoon for this. Um, I would recommend using a toothpick or a skewer. Obviously I would have used them if I had them, but I only really had a spoon. I decided to make like a pink and purple galaxy going with the theme like for Mother's Day with the colours like pinks and purples and lilacs and stuff but yeah you can basically see what I'm doing I didn't fill the whole page with watercolour because I was just going to cut out what I needed for the lid. But yeah. And as you can see, the galaxy that I created, you'd think would be with watercolour. When I buy watercolour, I will actually use them. So I'm going to let that dry. And now that it's dry, I'm going to um, measure around the lid of the lip balm. I'm just going to mark around it using a pencil. I'm going to cut that out using some scissors. Now my circle is actually a bit bigger than what I'd like, so once I glued it on, I went round the edges and cut it off so that it actually fit the top of the lid. Then I just used another paintbrush just to spread around the glue. I'm just using regular PVA glue, but you.
Now you want to let that dry for as long as your glue needs to dry. Now I'm going to take a Crayola sepia tape and I'm using this lilac lavender colour and I'm going to draw a love heart on the centre of the galaxy. And then I actually took my new Uniball Signal white gel pen and this is the broad version and I actually got a three pack. I also got quite a lot of um, new stationery over the past week or so so if you would like to see a stationery haul please give the video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below that way I know I also decided to outline the love heart with some white as well, just to make it stand out a bit more. So here's the finished lip balm. This one was so easy to do, it was a bit fiddly if you didn't use a toothpick like I recommended before, but it's so good and it's so easy and pretty much everyone already has Vaseline and probably an empty lip balm container anyway. So the next one I like to call the hidden message in a jar. It's quite a long title, um, but yeah, anyway, so the way I'm going to do this is I found this really cute little mini mason jar with a lid and I found this at Home Bargains for 40p, I think it was like 45 pence or something, but then I also emptied out some Smarties into a bowl and I got the container and measured it down to fit the mason jar and I wanted this to be a bit lower down than the cap and a bit lower down than the little screwy bit so that it would fit in perfectly and I'd still be able to reach in and put the smarties in so the reason i'm cutting this off is so that it's sectioning off where we're going to hide the message as you can see i made it too tall and i'm just gradually trimming it down to size now if you have a bigger mason jar i'd recommend using something like a kitchen roll holder or something or a tissue holder but something for this, this side of the jar, you want something a lot thinner. So that's why I used the Smarty jar, jar? The Smarty container, just because it was on hand and it was the right size. So once that fit in perfectly, I took the Smarties back and I started fitting them in around the edges. And this is a lot more fiddly than it seems. As you see, I dropped one in there. But you just have to be really careful with it and keep going. I found it helps if you stuff some tissue into the tube so that when you're putting the Smarties in the jar it doesn't fall in and ruin it because then you have to kind of be like fishing around the um, inside tube for the Smarties that have gone astray. And actually I found that one packet of Smarties wasn't enough so I had to get a second pack and use that to fill it in. On this piece of paper I wrote Happy Mother's Day and this is like a secret message and then I just rolled this up and put it inside the Smarties tube on the inside. I'm really sorry that this is not in the frame, I didn't look through the level I'm doing this. When people look at the outside of this gift, they'll just think, oh, it's nice, it's just like a jar of sweets, you know, thanks. And then they'll open it up and there'll be a secret gift inside. Now, you don't have to write a note. You can put maybe some money in there. You might, be, you might put like tickets to something, like anything you want really that can be fitted in. You might even put some jewelry in there if you want to give them some jewelry, but yeah. But anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you guys really liked it. Remember to, if you like my channel, please subscribe and also hit the like button if you want to from me. And yeah, comment down below what other ideas you have for some videos. And I hope your mums and grandmas really like this gift. Bye!